This is uh, Beatmaster T. Yeah, we're coming into the uh, lair here. Just kind of wanted to show you guys, you know, the studio. And uh, kind of introduce myself because I'm still a newbie here. But anyway, I'm Beatmaster T, uh, a.k.a. DJ T. Um, first of all, let's uh, go straight into showing you my studio. These are the 10s, the Yamahas. Uh, these are a must. In order to get a real good mix, clear feel, uh, I would suggest that you uh, get these as soon as you can. I also have some near field uh, monitors. These are Mackies. I've always loved Mac product. They're real quiet. Uh, I have, of course, two. And I'm using uh, this foam stand that you can set your speakers on. It's called Aerolex. Also, the uh, Yamahas are setting on them. And on stage stands is what I use to set these Macs on. So, you know, if you want your uh, stand uh, or speakers to be on some stands, these are some great stands. They're triangled at the bottom. Uh, that's my little internet wireless uh, setup there. Also, that's my baby right there. Need to plug that back up. I think I've uh, spoke on the forum that I've been out the pocket for about three years. So I haven't made any beats. Uh, just here recently I have, but, you know, been three years. But this Mackie 1202 VLZ, that's a quiet baby there. And it's probably 10 years old. Close to 10. Get that. That's my little wireless keyboard. Uh, let me see. Here's the, uh, this is my Novation, the 25 remote. Of course, you know, this is a nice little MIDI keyboard you can have. It's not, it doesn't take up much room. So, you can get one of those. Uh, I would suggest get a, uh, external, uh, hard drive. This is a gigabyte or tera gigabyte, however you say that. And that's a lot of room in there. So I use this to back up this right here, the iMac. I'm going to give me another one probably in a month. And of course you can see this is a must too. This is the monitor station Pronus. Now you can go on eBay and get some real good deals with these. This is a must have too because Let's say I want to, you know, listen to these, these speakers right here. Just these speakers. Well, all I need to do is just go right here. And I got mine set on. Push these buttons here. But I just turn that on. And that's, you know, that's how you can mix down. Or if I want the uh, Yamahas, I hit A. And, of course, I got to show you this one. Let me get up under here. Yeah, that's the big boy. That's the boom boom. That's the Kirk. So there are different kind of ways you can set your uh, studio up. And like I say, this is this is this is my heart right here. This is the uh, MacBook Pro, 500 gigabytes, uh, four gigs of RAM. It's a bad boy. Take that wherever I go. Uh, I don't know what this is doing up here. Let me get this up. But anyway, that's uh, that's the keyboard. It's a nice little stand I use. I got another stand uh, that that used to house my uh, MPC 5000 fully loaded. Of course, I had the XL. I had some other uh, drum machines, but uh, since then they're gone. That's 32 inch TV, and there go the baby right there. That's that's. That's the new baby there. I'm just now getting into it. So I've been really into this uh, machine for about three weeks. So learning curve ain't too bad. St. Joe, shout out to you, bro, uh, for helping me to kind of navigate and understand some things. It's always a learning curve to these machines. So uh, once I get into them, you know, I, I, I rip them to shreds. I push them to the max. Anyway, let's go over to the closet. I got uh, 
got my little acoustic guitars I got two of them you can't see the other one because this arm it's two of them I got a, a classical in there uh, and then I got all my software uh, this right here that's a that's an arsenal to have if you want to make uh, music videos I suggest getting one uh, you can get them on eBay pretty cheap uh, let's see what else we got. Dre Beats box. I got Tune Track. Um, we got, uh, let's see, the Baby Bottle. Uh, excuse me on the phone. I got my Dre Beats up there. I got the MXL uh, microphone. I got the, start with a P. Uh, this is a microphone. It's the 200. And some of you might know what that is. But, uh, I got some more earphones, studio earphones, a whole bunch of stuff. Now most of my software gear is in the other room, in the other closet. But kind of want to take you guys through this right here. This is what makes those vocals sound pretty good. So I uh, loaded this uh, room to the max with these. So you can see... I got my base, my base cones or foam. That those are the uh, cones that you put in the corner to reduce the base. Uh, I got my uh, base cone there, and then I got some more foam set up in a triangular shape behind the iMac. Got a base cone there. I got a base cones in in every corner. And so, you can see I got some on the ceiling. So, yeah, this is my studio. This is my mic, uh, mic little mic stand, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, yeah, this is the studio. This is uh, Beatmaster T Studio. That's my little fruit time there. So, if I want to come in here and lay down, take a nap, lay that down. Oh, Gotta have that word of God right there. Y'all see that? Ain't nothing wrong with having that, that Bible in there. You know, that's meditation. That's that's how I make my beats. Sometimes I just get in the word and, you know, I draw from some inspiration, spiritual in inspiration. I've been in this business, whew, probably about 30 years. So, you know, that's that's what I do. But anyway, yeah, this is this is Beatmaster T Studio. You know, if I missed anything, I'm just kind of scanning around now. Oh, that conditioner there. You, you guys need to get a conditioner. So if you have a power surge, it's called, uh, I think, Livewire. Yeah, Livewire. You good. Anything shut down, computer shut down, you good. But anyway, here's a beat I made, and I'm going to get on out of here. I know I've been on here too long, so... Uh, this is a beat I just recently made. Machines Tutorials dot com. This is your man, your boy, Beat Master T. I'm out. <laughs>